everyone, welcome back to today's uh, Underwriting Case of the Day video. I know that these videos have been a little bit sporadic uh, with my uploading. We have, we have a lot going on, a lot we're doing, but I'll try to be a little bit more consistent going forward. Uh, so today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's not really a condition itself. I want to talk a little bit more broadly about whether you know it or not, something you're running into every single time you underwrite any case, any condition at all, and that's the difference between an acute and a chronic condition. So we'll start with just some basic definitions. So an acute condition is something that's resolved um, very quickly. It's something that can be the result of something else. And we'll go over some actual examples in a second here. And a chronic condition is something like, probably the most common one is uh, chronic asthma. So something that's ongoing, it's long lasting, it's not gonna be resolved quickly, if at all. You can see some of the other um, ones here, uh, you know, seizures, epilepsy, that might never be resolved, it probably won't be. Uh, whereas others, you know, like breast cancer, will eventually be resolved, but are still chronic. Um, now, an acute condition is, is kind of what we're going to be focusing more so on today, because that can be as the result of something else. It can mean other things, and you want to really have a thorough understanding of these conditions, because it'll help you become a better underwriter. Now, we do everything we can with Beck's Toolkit to do as much of the underwriting that we can for you, but we can only work based off of the data you enter into the software. So, the first thing we're going to take a look at is a condition that Maybe you've never ran into it, maybe you have, but pericardial effusion. So pericardial effusion, and I'll bring up just so you can take a look at it here. So it's basically the buildup of fluid around the heart. And you can see here, so basically no company is going to ask, there's, I think there's a few that wait, this definition would fit into a question asked on the application, but this in and of itself for most companies has no bearing on any of the application questions. If you just look at this condition alone, it would be preferred level, you know, whatever you're looking at on that uh, for that carrier. However, this condition is as the result of something else. So it can be caused by a heart attack, by cancer, um, chemotherapy, you know, uh, some, some other conditions that a carrier might not even care about the cause of, such as a thyroid. So it's important, and again, we go back to the quote here, if a client tells you they have pericardial fusion, if they don't tell you why it happened, it's important to ask, why did this happen? Did it happen as the result of something else? Has it happened multiple times? Have you been hospitalized? All these things to find out the root cause. And in this case, oh yeah, I had a heart attack, you know, and that's that's the reason that I have this condition. They might, for some reason, they might be leaving that out. Maybe they think they can get a better rate if they don't tell you, um, but we pop that in there. So that's one, that's kind of a quick example to show. You don't just want to take certain conditions at face value. Even for heart attack, maybe you want to ask, hey, are you taking nitro for that? Did they prescribe that as a follow-up? Or uh, were you? have you been hospitalized since then, has, it, has anything reoccurred? Have you had any angina? Stuff like that. Now, the easier one to understand is asthma. So we even separate those right on the software itself just because it's so common. Now, at mild asthma can be occasional inhal inhaler use, seasonal, they have allergies. There's not really a definition for, uh, well, for the companies that we use, there's not a set definition for chronic. Some of them care about fills of the inhaler, like Transamerica. Some of them care about how often you use it. Generally, just kind of a broad definition, umbrella definitions, if they're using their inhaler on an ongoing year-round basis, that's gonna be chronic asthma, essentially. Uh, and that's going to be seen differently by certain carriers. Now, let's take a look at one. I actually had this question, I think it was yesterday, or yeah, it was yesterday. So when we look at conditions such as quadriplegia, paraplegia, so I'll type that in here. Now we build in, of course, if someone's quadriplegic, they're gonna be, you know, help with ADLs generally, they're gonna uh, be wheelchair bound. So we put, it, at least with our clientele, I've seen some Facebook videos of, you know, some people who aren't, but that's generally not what we're going to see here. So we, we ask some basic follow-up questions if they need, um, if, they, it's, if the amputation has been due to diabetic complications or if it's been due to chronic illness or disease, depending on the carriers you have selected. Let's say in this case, no and no. However, there could be, uh, for example, paraplegia. That's generally, they're going to be in a wheelchair. Their legs are going to be paralyzed. Same thing, that can, they can need help with ADLs. Uh, there could be other complications surrounding that, maybe some circulatory problems. Uh, obviously, wheelchair confinement, which, again, we code into the software because that's a given. <clears throat> but that's just sort of a broader example to show that whenever you see a condition, because, for example, especially if the amputation, for whatever reason, wasn't due to chronic illness or disease for quadriplegia, this isn't a question asked on the application directly. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of thinking, a little bit of digging, and that's Again, why we always say that we built FEX Toolkit to be a tool, not to be a crutch, because there's no way that the software can underwrite accurately without having all the possible information. And not every case is going to be the same. So it's always important to do some digging, to look at what conditions might have caused other conditions. 
and to really make sure you're getting the full picture, even if it means entering in a medication and then possibly entering in a health condition surrounding that medication after you've already put it in just to make sure you're being super, super thorough. Now, in most cases, it might not make a difference, but even if it's one case a month where being super extra thorough could, I mean, that can mean the difference of having an application approved and accepted or completely declined and you can lose the sale. So again, you guys can check us out at www.fextoolkit.com if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.